So the next step in our application modernization journey is to provide developers with a platform where they can run their Windows and Linux containerized applications. And nothing better for that than our Azure Kubernetes service. The Azure Kubernetes service is a hosted Kubernetes service, which allows you to run Kubernetes apps on top of it. It can run in one of our Azure regions, or it can run on premises or edge locations using the AKS hybrid deployment options together with the Azure Arc integration. So let's have a quick look. So here I'm in the Azure portal and I can see here I have two Kubernetes clusters or AKS clusters deployed. The first one is running in one of our Azure regions and the second one is a de de hybrid deployed one running on premises on Windows Server or Azure Stack HCI together with Azure Arc integration. Both of these clusters can host Windows containers as well as Linux containers. So to create a new AKS cluster, it's fairly simple. We can use the Azure portal, we can use the CLI, PowerShell, APIs, or other management tools to do that. On premises, we can even use existing management tools we are all familiar with. So if you are managing Windows Server, you're probably already familiar with Windows Admin Center, which allows me to manage Windows servers, Windows Server clusters, and even Azure Stack HCI clusters. We can also manage AKS running on top of these. So let's have a quick look here on how I can manage my Kubernetes cluster on top of that. So here I can see that I already have installed the AKS hybrid on top of Windows Server. And you can also see here, I created a workload cluster and a Kubernetes cluster where I can deploy my containerized apps on. I can also easily create a new cluster directly from Windows Admin Center. But I wanna show you a new experience we just showed you at Microsoft Ignite. You can now also deploy and provision new AKS clusters running on premises and at the edge directly from the Azure portal or using the Azure CLI or ARM templates. For that, you would just create a new cluster here and then you can see here, you get a very familiar experience in the way that you could deploy a AKS cluster in Azure. And as all of these options, as I mentioned, we support Windows and Linux node pools here. So you, your applications can run Windows containers and Linux containers side by side. Now let's have a look at the management experience for both of these types of Kubernetes clusters. So this is the Kubernetes cluster, the AKS cluster running in one of our Azure regions. And one thing I did here is I used GitOps to deploy an application to that cluster. Now GitOps stores the application and the configuration of this application in a Git repository. This can be hosted on GitHub or a private Git repo, um, whatever you prefer. And then the Azure Arc integration, the Arc agent will basically go out and get that um, configuration and check, make sure that um, this application is actually deployed. And it will also check if there are changes to this application. So if I now go to our uh, AKS hybrid deployment, so you can see here immediately that we have a very similar uh, management experiences and also that I have GitOps integration with that AKS hybrid cluster as well. So what you can see here is I have basically deployed the same application here. And again, in this case, the Azure Arc agent is pulling the changes from that application. So let's have a quick look at the application itself. So here we have the deployed applications. I took all my web design skills to design these. Now on the left side, you can actually see that I have deployed this application on an AKS cluster in Azure using a public IP address so users can access it. On the right side, you can see the same application running on our AKS hybrid deployment, running on premises on Windows Server or Azure Stack HCI and using a private IP address. So both of these applications look exactly the same, but we can see here that Tailwind Trader did a mistake on this in their writing or they should basically update their website. So let's have a look on how we can do that. And let's go to that Git repo where the application is stored. 
So here is the Git repo where we actually store the application uh, configuration. And you can see here, I can see here which containers I'm actually running from which repository and how much replicas I'm running. And then you can see here we also have the message here. So let's change that and update that to 2022. Uh, I'm going to do that. And usually a developer would do this using their favorite um, development tools such as Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code, for example. And then you would obviously not directly do that to the main branch as I do that right now, but choose another branch and do a approval step and a merge process in that case. But for now, let's do that change to the repo and let's go back to the application and see if it's updated. So let's refresh the application running on Azure first and you can see here it is already up to date now. And now let's refresh the application which we run on premises on our AKS hybrid deployment and hit refresh on that. And you can see here also this application running is now refreshed as well. So the GitOps integration into Azure and especially with our Azure Kubernetes service and our AKS hybrid deployment options using Azure Arc allows you to manage applications and Kubernetes clusters directly from a single control plane. So let's have a quick look on the AKS hybrid architecture, which allows you to run our Azure Kubernetes service on premises and at the edge. Now, for that, you choose one of our validated hardware solutions for Azure Stack HCI, or you use Windows Server, and that allows you to basically uh, run your Windows and Linux VMs with your traditional applications. But with our AKS hybrid deployment options, you can also now run your containerized applications running Linux and Windows containers, as well as even our Arc enabled services. This allows you to run past services from Azure on premises or at the edge, and that helps you to build and run your cloud native applications and all of that managed through Azure Arc. So if you want to learn more about Windows containers, Azure Kubernetes service and our AKS hybrid deployment options, check out the following links.